And from just picking both of them up, I can tell you def that much that it's definitely a weight difference. But yeah, this rotor was on its last leg. You can definitely tell that you shaved off some weight. Hey YouTube, it's your boy Certified, and I'm back with another banger for you guys. Y'all already know what's up. If you're not a subscriber to this channel yet, make sure you smash that subscribe button. You know why? Because it don't cost me nothing. It don't cost you nothing. Just click that red button for me. So I got Nunu in the garage right now because I need to change out her front rotors. All right. So I'm not going to do a how-to on how to change these rotors. If you want to see that, make sure you go to my video when I upgraded my front brakes to the six-piston brake um, calipers and rotors. Um, well, the rotors are the two-piece rotors, but I upgraded my brakes and to pretty much change out the rotors is the same process. The only thing is you don't change out the calipers, but you still have to remove the calipers in order to change the rotors. So make sure you go to that video and check that video out if you want to see exactly how to change the rotors out. But the thing is, when I got those rotors, um, the rotors were used. They came off of a uh, 2017 Challenger, and those rotors were never changed. They, they, they've been on that car since 2017 with some heavy driving and everything. So when I got those rotors, um, I was told up front that, hey, these rotors need to be replaced. Like, so probably within the next year. Uh, my front driver's side rotor on the inside, you can't even see the veins, which I'll show you guys here in a second. But nonetheless, I'm gonna change those out. But I was like, since I'm gonna change them out, I might as well upgrade to something better. And I'm gonna show you guys here that in a second. So here you guys see my current rotors. Um, this side, this is actually the driver's side. It's actually not too bad. Um, I'm gonna try to show you guys on the inside what they look like and they're not too bad however it's the passenger side that is actually um like on the outside is not bad but the inside as y'all see you cannot see the veins so this rotor is actually doing as you can see right here too the groove um I don't know if this is called scoring, gouging, or whatever, whatnot. But yeah, this rotor definitely needs to be changed out. But the rotors that I decided to go with, because I will say with changing from the four piston brakes to the six pistons, these are much heavier, all right? Much heavier than the uh, four pistons. So that added weight was definitely noticeable when driving. So the fix for that is there are lightweight rotors um, that are made by Demon Performance, all right? So these are the Demon Performance rotors that I've got for it. Boom. All right. Got a quick unboxing for you guys. I actually got my scale out here too to, to kind of compare the, the weight difference. Um, it's probably gonna be a little bit off because obviously these rotors aren't brand new. So weight wise, um, it's probably not gonna be 100% accurate, but from what I've seen online, these front rotors are supposed to be about um, five to six pounds lighter than the factory OEM rotors, all right? But these are it right here, Demon Performance. The thing is, from this point on, which you can actually do with these two piece rotors, you don't have to change out everything. You can literally just change out the ring, all right? You just take this hardware out um, from the rotor hat and then you put the new um, rotor rings on there. Um, so, but this is the front left. And this is one of the things, I did unbox this before and I've seen this a lot. A lot of people, when they, when they put their rotors on the car, they try to make these to where they fit. Um, to where the the veins go in the direction of how the car is driven, right? So pretty much like this, but this specifically says left, which this is the front left, and it will look like that to where it actually turns this way. So, and that's more so because of the actual vein design. So a lot of times when you buy rotors, make sure you pay attention to that because there's a reason why they tell you to put it on a specific side, all right? So don't worry about actual direction of this uh these um 
these grooves on your rotors, all right? So we're gonna get this thing installed. I'm actually gonna jack the car up now. I'm probably gonna time lapse it for you guys and I'll show you guys the finished product on this side um, once I get everything installed. But um, actually, no, this is what I'm gonna do. Once I get that rotor off, we're gonna weigh these first. We're gonna compare the front left and front, uh, the new one and the old one on my actual scale to see how much weight we're actually saving with these Demon Performance rotors. As y'all can see, I got the rotor off. This is my new one, my old one. So we're gonna see how much it weighs. Obviously, I'm pretty sure if it was a brand new rotor, it would weigh probably a little bit more. And from just picking both of them up, I can tell you def that much that it's definitely a weight difference. All right, 29.8. This thing reset real quick. This one weighs. Twenty five point six. So almost a four pound difference between the factory OEM rotors and the Demon Performance rotors. So I can imagine this one will probably be like twenty. What is it? Twenty nine point eight. So probably twenty nine point nine um, pounds if it was brand new and not worn uh, compared to this, but close to four pounds, well, five pounds, um, what it was. I can't even, honestly, I can't even remember what the numbers were right now. <laughs> but either way, you can definitely see that there is a weight difference. So let me go ahead and put this one on and then move on to the next side. She goes, everything is put back together. See it. Boom. And for those that were asking, how's the um the paint holding up? It's actually holding up pretty good. That's the beauty of going with the G2 caliper paint. Um, it actually um finishes almost like a gel coat to where if it does get dirty it's easy to wipe off it doesn't have a rough finish at all even though you may see like some of these imperfections um it it feels smooth all right granted yeah you can feel those imperfections but it's not rough by any means if you actually want to do this and you don't want to have these type of uh i guess divots in it you can i guess sand it out before you actually apply it but I kind of like the the rough, rugged look, <laughs> to be honest with you guys, and that's just me personally. But um, yeah, the white holds up great. But yeah, these Demon Performance rotors look good on here. Time to go to the other side though. side is officially off i don't know what it is about the right side the right side always gives me more trouble but this is the outside of the rotor and this is what i was talking about on the inside <laughs> you could barely see the veins still there like this rotor i'm gonna say at least maybe maybe six more months but yeah this rotor was on its last leg but let's go ahead and weigh this thing Let's see how heavy this bad boy is. Twenty nine point two. Okay, let's hang out. Twenty-nine point 
25.6. So just shy of four pounds difference. And she is all put back together. Demon performance rotors are installed on both sides. So I actually gotta do a quick test drive on them to make sure everything is good. Um, the Demon performance rotors do come with instructions on how to properly break them in. So while I do that, I'm actually gonna give you guys uh, a quick review if I notice the actual weight difference from them because the heaviest portion of the six piston um, Brembo system is the rotor itself so coming from the four pistons as you guys saw in my video when i actually upgraded to the six pistons these rotors are way heavier than the rotors for the four pistons so gonna do this test drive and uh let you guys know then what i think all right y'all so i just got done doing the uh break-in procedure for uh these rotors man and i will say from initial startup um, and drive <laughs> I can't say that I do notice a good difference as far as weight and just um, it feels more peppy man it, it you can definitely tell that you shaved off some weight granted it's not a big difference it's not like you shaved off hundreds of pounds but even the three or four pounds that you shaved off on each wheel or, or hub um for like well i don't know the actual term but from each side uh, it's not a lot of weight but it's definitely noticeable man like it, it definitely feels peppier as far as brake performance it's the same um didn't gain any better brake performance than I had before with the six pistons. Like these six pistons definitely grip, man. Like it, it's especially compared to the four pistons in city driving, you don't really notice a difference between the six pistons and the four pistons. But on highway driving, especially slowing down from uh, higher speeds, oh, you definitely notice a difference. Big, big difference um, in brake performance. But between the Demon Performance and the stock rotors, no difference in brake performance. Um, it's exactly the same but as far as the weight you notice it <laughs> it's definitely noticeable but um but yeah man let's go wrap it up for today's video y'all if y'all have watched uh, my giveaway congrats to my 2k giveaway winner again make sure y'all tune into that uh live stream that i did uh for that and then um also man i also mentioned that uh I'm gonna be slowing down on my videos uh, until I get settled, completely settled here in Cali, man, because my work schedule and everything here is different compared to Jacksonville. So until I get into an actual routine, um, I can't promise you guys that I'll be having uh, three videos a week, but I'm, I'm definitely gonna stay consistent. I'm gonna try to have at least, at least one video a week for you guys, um, but we'll see. I'm not gonna make a promise for that. But, um, but yeah, just stay posted, man, which is a plug to go ahead and hit that notification bell so y'all don't miss any bangers that I got coming up for you guys in the future. Follow me on Instagram at hashtag salute and certified drip on all your pictures and videos to show love and support to the channel. And until next time, YouTube, I hope y'all have a good day.